NBA, I want to get your thoughts, man, on this 71 point performance <laughs> by Donovan Mitchell last night. Now he's already an all star. Um, he's added his name to one of the NBA's most verified lists Monday night. He set the Cleveland record with 71 points, most by an NBA player in 17 years, as the Cavaliers came back from 21 down to beat the Chicago Bulls 145 to 134. To talk about the Bulls' demise is one thing, but, bro, what is your thoughts on Donovan Mitchell? Bro, I'm, I didn't I didn't watch that game, by the way. I didn't catch that game because it was insignificant to me. Right. So, I'm, like I said, I like, you know, I love, I love sports. I listen to sports radio all the time here and there, especially if I'm busy, if I'm grinding, or if I'm working or whatnot. So, I'm driving. <laughs> and then I hear... And I, I, I'm so caught up on what just happened in this NFL, right? I'm so caught up in that. So I'm like, damn, what's happening? I'm looking, I'm listening, I'm looking at people's reaction, hearing people talk about it. And the gentleman says, yeah, uh, as far as uh, NBA tonight, uh, such and such, Donovan Mitchell, uh, 71 and 11. And, then he, and when he said that, right, I thought it was like – like he, like he messed up on a number. Like he, <laughs> like he, like he made a mistake. And so, eight rebounds. Don't forget that eight well, rebounds. Oh well, yeah, I didn't even see the receive the he, seventy-one and eleven got me to the point where I didn't care about the rebounds. That's still big time <laughs> too. But when he when he said seventy-one, he, he said Donovan Mitchell seventy-one and eleven. And he didn't say like he didn't say like oh yeah it's incredible because he's down talking about the other situation. So when I seen, I went, <laughs> I stopped my, I stopped my car, bro. I stopped my car, pulled over, got on the phone, and I seen seventy one points and eleven assists, and I was like, this is probably one of the greatest performances ever because if you got seventy one, usually if you got in your set, if you're in the seventy, you don't got eleven assists. Eleven assists. That's the seventy one is very impressive, extremely impressive. But 11 helpers on top of that, bro, plus eight rebounds. And to be down by so much and come back and actually get a win. Did it in 71 too? Man. (laughs) That's incredible, bro. Like, Kevin Love even said he was like, he named me, he shot out LeBron and Kyrie, but he was like, that's where, that's the best performance he's ever caught live. And yeah, bro, I'm shot, bro. I knew he had it in him. But I, I knew he had like a good 60 in him. Right. But 71 and 11, no one has ever done that in the NBA ever, bro. Ever. The Cavs BA are now currently in sole possession of fourth place. They are 24 and 14 on the year. I think that is probably a surprise to most. But how serious do you take the Cavaliers when we talk about postseason play? Do you look like this is a team that could upset some people? I, I already told you, bro. I told you this before the season even started. This team is going to – this team has the potential to knock off a – they have the potential to knock off a of Philadelphia. They got the potential to knock off a of Milwaukee. They got the potential to knock off a of Brooklyn Nets, especially – but it all depends on health. Do I think that they are really good enough to beat those teams um, in a seven-game series? No, I don't. I wouldn't pick them. But – I'm not foolish enough to think that they don't have a shot at winning because remember they had two all stars already on the team, right. which are still balling out this year, and to have a third that is like uh, that that's actually not just an all star, but he's edging his way into being a superstar. I I'm, I'm not surprised, bro. I'm not surprised. One I thing knew, that surprises me the most is the, the the way Cleveland is playing at home. They actually, if I'm not mistaken, have the best home record in the entire Eastern Conference. They are 17 and four at home. They don't play that great on the road. That right now they three games under 500 on the road. But Cleveland is holding a fort down at home now. If they in first, if they if the season ended. They would really have to go through the road um, to make a real run. I, I just don't, you know, I, I they look good right now. But like you said, bro, seven-game series, bro, the game slow down. Then you got those matchup problems. 
I, I'm just not afraid of Cleveland, even though Donovan can put up these types of crazy numbers. You know, Devin Booker has done the same thing, but I don't fear Phoenix. I don't fear Cleveland. I'm just keeping it real. I, I would, I, I, I feel the, the the reason why I would fear Cleveland in the playoffs is because I, I'm still stating this. To, to I'm still going to state this, and people are going to disagree with me. But I think they have, when healthy, they have the best backcourt to me in the NBA. Darius Garland, right? If he, if they go to the end of the season and him and Donovan Mitchell are healthy in that backcourt, doing what mm -hmm. they both do, taking turns, uh, running the offense, et cetera, giving each other plays off offensively, they're going to be very, very scary. And then if Karis LeVert, if he continues to get back into his rhythm of the way that he plays because he was an all-star. He what he didn't make the all-star team, but he he's had all-star numbers before running the team. You get all of that magic together with big man down low and you got Evan Mobley who is coming into his own because this is just his second season. They're going to be problems, bro. I don't know if Brooklyn had to get rid of Jared Allen in order for them to get the roster that they got, but do you feel like how good do you think Nets would be if they still had Jared Allen as their big man? I honestly think that um, I think that it would have helped them the last couple of years. This year, they didn't. They they, they don't need him this year because Claxton is on some other ish. Claxton is right. finally stepping up to his potential, but last year and the year before, he they would have. I'm not gonna front. They would have. They would have had a rain. They would have had they would have at least won a championship within the past couple of years if they had just that one item that that one guy in the middle. Cause nothing's getting past him and he's not he's not out here. He's uh he's not out here airballing free throws. <laughs> right. uh, like drumming. Drumming and 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 Claxton couldn't hit free throws to save them lives, save their lives in that Milwaukee series a couple of years ago that went seven games. Didn't have no inside presence last year versus Boston. So Boston got to the cup at will, at will last year. If the season yeah. ended today, Cleveland will be playing the 76ers in the first round. Cleveland would have the home court advantage because Cleveland is in the four seed. Philly is in the five. But do you think Cleveland, like, given – James Harden is on the court. Joel Embiid is on the court. Those guys are ready to rock. Do you think Cleveland could really knock off Philly? Yeah, I, I, I really think so. I really think so. It depends. I think that series, to me, it comes down to Tyrese Maxey. He's the X factor? Yeah, he's the X factor for Philly because Philly ain't. And without Tyrese Maxey, they're not going to. I don't care if Joel Embiid is putting up 40 every night. They not going nowhere. James Harden, when he when he gets to the plate, when he gets to the playoffs next year, he's gonna. Pro I mean, this year he's probably gonna be out of gas like he is every year. So, I it comes down to Maxi man, and I, in that series, if we're talking about right now, Cleveland is the better team to me right now. Okay, now hey y'all with the cooler kick. Street, we run this shit. Fell back after run it up. Then my last bitch, she was dumb as fuck. Hop out, get the spray and stuff. Then my last hot one saying nothing. Whole stunning, big pimpin', whole hunt. 38 with the cooler kid in the mall with me like Joe Button. These hoes front. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.